G'day everyone. G'day everyone. This is from the land down under. Today we're doing something special. We're going to the Flinders Borden Research Center. This is obviously up near Flinders and I tell you, you guys are in for a treat. So we're gonna make our way down and show you exactly what's going on. Keep tuned, here we go. Oh, bit of a truck. <laughs> you know, when you come out to wildlife area like this, you're gonna get certain trucks. There's a little bit of wind, so please forgive me. I'm gonna make absolutely sure I do not put my fingers this time anywhere on the screen, uh, in front of the screen, because I know last time I did it, you know, I checked it and went, ah. But you know what, I couldn't edit any of that out. Oh, look, what, look, we've got a little bit of wind coming through. I do apologize, but it'll be all good. Um, yeah, so I couldn't edit that out, obviously, because you know, you, I don't want you guys to miss out on anything I have to say, because you guys will go, what was he saying? I don't mind the finger being there. You know, so it's all good. Um, so I'm trying my best now. So we're making our way up. Obviously, there's certain areas you can go to. Looks like there's a sign here. What does that say? Oh yeah, that's for oversized, obviously for buses and vehicle parking. Looks like there's the Chase Cafe as well. There's a bit of the Chase Cafe, coffee, food, gear, so, oh yeah, looks pretty cool. We'll head down a bit more. Have a look, oh, look at this size of this tree. Ho oh, ho, oh. now that's a bit, uh, that's a bit of a, that's a, <laughs> there you see, you never know what you're gonna come across. Now, in Australia, we do have a lot of different wildlife, um, and of course, you know, I'm gonna try not to say um either, because I know sometimes that might get on people's nerves, so I'm gonna try to do that either. <laughs> so, we have koalas. Um, oh, there we go again. We have koalas, and they say in Australia that the koalas are drop bears, but uh, I don't think that's necessarily true, so. But if we see a koala, that'll be great. And, and I'll try to uh, bear in mind what I say as well, because I know that saying, you know, the, the slang of our nationality here, our country, uh, can can be a bit confusing, so I'll try not to use a lot of slang. See what we've got here. Come across, okay. We're getting into the main section now. So there's a few tourists around. We're gonna go through the Chase Cafe, have a look around, and see what's going on. I know there's a national park further down as well. So we're gonna have a look at that. We might do this in two sections, of course. There is a Kangaroo Island Wilderness Trail. So as it says here. I'll scan it a bit on that one so you can read it if you want. You can always pause the video and you know read what, what it says, go back, rewind. You know the usual. This is the Flinders Chase video, uh, let's get it right, Flinders Chase Visitor Centre. So we're coming around here, so there's quite a lot, I don't even know if it's open, have a look through here, cool, this is the Flinders Chase Visitor Centre, let's see what it's got in here people. Now YouTubers and subscribers, obviously there's quite a bit going on, so, ooh, pretty, look at this, I like this. This is very good. Of course, all the visitors from international and overseas, when they come over, they'll see this and go from there. It looks like there's quite a few people. And this is all on Kangaroo Island YouTubers, by the way, so when you see it, you'll love it. There's a couple around here. There's lots of stuff for everyone, so when you come over, look, we've got some friendly staff. Say hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, this is all the staff here, all YouTubers. This is all the staff and that. They're working hard, preparing meals and drinks and all that sort of stuff for people who come in. So, actually what I might do, I'll make sure that they get to know about it and I'll give them one of my cards. Here we go guys, share that around. That's my YouTube channel. Alright, so you'll be on YouTube soon. Alright. I'm going to bring it through here. Oh, look at this. <laughs> That's a cute shirt. Okay, we're going to go through here. So we've got, ooh, look at this. Check this stuff out. Ooh. Look at 
look at this. I don't even know what this relates to, but it's definitely interesting, that's for sure. Woo! Hey, check this out. Way. Okay, they've got different things here, obviously, that you can look at. Some different stuff. It's pretty cool. You can always, of course, pause the video, read for yourself what's going on, you know, that sort of stuff, and just check it out. Let's go around to these so you can all read it. Remember, pause the video if you want to read anything that's on here. Let's see if I can get the light out of that. There you go. Coming across. Ooh. Of course, there's some other photo, uh, some paintings that they've got up here, of course. As you can see, all the way across here. Oh, that's cool, man. I love that. That seems good. All right, go back to this again. Well, I think we've looked at the Jurassic one. Come across here. Ooh. Remember, like I said, you can always pause the video at any stage to read what, what is going on here. So I'm just showing you it because I know some of you will go, why didn't you go to the rest of them and show us what's going on? So, yeah. And of course here. I don't know if you start from this end or the other end. I'm not quite sure, but we've got a lot of stuff here. Oh, here's our little friendly kangaroo for Australia, YouTubers. Oh yeah, YouTubers, viewers, subscribers, and lurkers. And I forgot to mention, and trolls. Because sometimes, you know, some of you guys go, it's not a Hollywood production. And look, I already know it's not a Hollywood production, but you know what, I'm trying to make this as good as I can for everybody to watch and have a look at. So, there's a couple of stuff up here. Can't even, there you go. I'm sure some of you guys will pause the video, read what you want out of it. Pretty interesting stuff as you can see. Just some birds here, but I don't think we're actually gonna come across the other bird that, uh, from my other video uh, that I titled Rex and Mini. <laughs> I think these are a bit different, a bit different birds, but hey, it's all good. Actually, this whole place, it feels, I don't know, it makes you feel like you've sort of stepped back in time a little bit. If there was a time machine, then this would obviously be it, I would no doubtly say. Oh, that's cool. This heaps cool. I'm definitely going out of my way for you guys, as you can see, trying to get all of everything in so you can see it for yourself. I don't even know what that is. Uh, let's have a look here. Oh, here we go. So you guys can actually, like I said before, you can pause it have a read at certain spots that you like and just, you know, soak it all in as they say. Here you go, kangaroos. For all the overseas visitors, kangaroos. Here's something for you, all right? Now, a lot of people in Australia will say, yeah, but we know about the kangaroos, but you know what? I think it's very important for people to, you know, see what's going on. We've got some more paintings here by the look of it. <laughs> wow, that goes all the way up. Check this out. It's like this thing here. Okay, check this out. This is pretty cool too. We're going to have a look at this parts of this. We're starting to move through it now. Like I said, you can always pause the video, read what you want from it, rewind, skip forward, all that sort of stuff. I'm trying to give you enough time to be able to see what's on here. Oh, hang on, I'll come over here for you. Okay, there's some more over here. This has quite a lot of information. Uh, basically from the woodlands to the, you know, the, all that sort of stuff. So, it's got a ton of stuff. I don't even know where to begin. Like seriously, if you're gonna come out here and start looking around, you'll come into this little section first here, obviously. It gives you a very good 
thing about um, the the animals and the wildlife that is actually out here now. As as it stands, Kangaroo Island has been around for quite some time. The island itself, and it actually goes back to prehistoric times. They've actually, if you do a Google search on Kangaroo Island, you'll see some of the animals that used to roam this land on this island. And I tell you, some of them are really frightening. <laughs> so I, I guess glad that uh, they aren't around anymore. But sad in some ways because we'll probably never get to see them, except if, of course, for our own artistry stuff. And oh. <laughs> Talking of seals, go all the way up. Oh my goodness, I have to tilt the whole camera back for you guys. Crazy, crazy. And of course, yes, who can forget this one? Now, they say that this one is actually extinct. Um, it, it, this one here, if you do not know what it is, it's the Tasmanian tiger. Now, of course, the Tasmanian tiger is actually a carnivore, or it was until it died out, supposedly. It, it existed on the mainland Australia until 3,300 3, years ago and was then continued to, it, then it was confined, sorry, to Tasmania. By the early 1800s, it was exceedingly rare and extinct by 1936. Although, if you look on some of the YouTube channels and videos, they say there's still a few of them roaming around, so, but they are incredibly rare. Um, yeah, so, look at this. Wow, it's got some stuff. We do, we do have some artifacts from, from some of these um, animals. The largest, the world's largest marsupial, Diproton opetatum. <laughs> there we go. Now, you guys can obviously pause the video, like I said before, and read it all for yourself. Um, there's quite a lot involved in it. And yeah, as you can see, this is, its, this is its fossil. Quite a historical find here. Very good. I'd say, I believe, they're talking about this thing here. I'll just zoom out again. That's what they're talking about, this big, massive thing. I don't even know. Look, okay, there's a kangaroo. Now, kangaroos are pretty big, right? So obviously this guy, he's, he's a huge beast. What a wonder of an animal. What a wonder of an animal. So yeah, this, this, this whole place has a very, very... Um, step back in time feel, especially when you're looking at stuff. It looks like there's sort of a monitor or something here. It's got something on it, oh, it did have. It looks like it's got some change stuff here. It's going through its dream process. Good old Samsung. Oh, here we go. Okay, it says to touch a picture. Let's have a look here for a minute. I'll just, how about we go Okay. There you go. The Gorundari dreaming begins when the white river darling joins the river mine. Gorundari was looking for his wives who had run away after a quarrel. One day when he was fishing from his bark canoe, Gorundari saw Pondi, the giant mighty cod. He tried to see the huge fish. A Pondi swam away downstream. When Pondi reached the mine, it was then just a small creek. They had nowhere to swim. Pondi went slowly and crashing through the mud, making the creek into the mighty Murray River. Obviously, this is about dream time and for the Aboriginals telling their story of what they've gone through and how they've come up to today's date. And so, yeah, guys. But if you want to find out more, I'm sure there'll be probably some type of clip on YouTube or something of it. So, we'll just keep moving. <laughs> okay, looks like we've got to wind it up a little bit here. Um, I don't think there's really much, much to do. I might do a part two of this, of course. We'll make our way out. And of course, the uh, it's, it's quite a nice place, like I said. Anyway, you viewers and subscribers, make sure to subscribe. Click the channel's uh, notification bell and share and care, and we'll see you on the next upload that we do. Have a great day, and see you then. Bye.